power of this pulse. We've got this an electric eel. That's pretty cool, by the way. Um, 450 volts amps. We got time, and it gets a pulse. That'd be kind of crazy if you got that pulse. All right, so find the power of this pulse. Again, here's our equations over here. It's really this set of equations that we're utilizing in this set of questions. And which equation am I going to use first? So for letter A, um, for letter A, you're going to use P equals IV. Notice you're not going to use the time on part A. You're just trying to find the power. You know the voltage and you know the current, and you can solve for that. For letter B, the total energy of the pulse, now that's going to be this equation. Power is energy over time. So you know the power. You know the... Well, you found the power in part A, so that's important. So you use the power that you calculate in part A, and you'll say power is energy over time. Now, note this is milliseconds, and remember, what I would do is I'd say 1.0 times 10 to the minus third seconds, because of milliseconds, and then just plug that in, use your calculator, and then it's going to be easy to solve for E. Uh, question C, what's it asking? Find the total charge. Now, for charge, if you note here, charge is going to be this equation, I equals Q over T. I, of course, is the current, and we've got the current here, the 0.85, and the time is the 1 milliseconds, and Q, of course, is the charge. So I'm going to use this equation to solve for part C.